Welcome back. Now we are on the last step of making sure that this upload form can be able now to make the changes that are done by the user. And that is to upload the profile avatar or the profile picture and save that to the database. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new method which will handle that logic. So here I'm going to create a comment first. That is upload and change the profile picture or the profile avatar for the authenticated user. Next, let's create that method. And the method I'm going to call or to call it profile picture upload. That is request and save. Before we create the logic, let's create a route which will map to this method. So copy that and let's go to the routes file. And I'm going to duplicate this route and then change the method from get to post because you're posting. That is the URL, and then let's change that method, which is profile picture upload. So remember, this form will be posting to this method, and the route name we are using here is profile avatar. So copy that, and let's go to the, make sure you save, and profile picture, and change this form action to this route that is profile avatar and here you can see we have two csrf token field let me remove one and save that file next let's go to the profile controller and create that logic so first if this request has file that is the input avatar which means the user will be uploading using on this form I'll store it in a variable called avatar And file which is avatar. So the file name will be stored or be saved with the current time. with avatar and here we're going to say get client original extension so that is the extension of this file it can be a png or jpeg next now we are going to use that intervention that package we installed to manipulate this avatar that is to resize it and where to save that avatar or that profile picture so we are going to use that image facade image by make that is the instruction to do So resize to 250 width 
by 250 height and then save that avatar or that profile picture to this path so we're going to use this helper public path And then that part we're going to get it from the includes we have this profile sidebar so copy this path and then with the file name next is to make sure that it's being uploaded by authenticated user so user And then let's save that avatar. So user and then once you save you can redirect the user back with a message profile updated or profile uploaded. So return So the message is the session message, which is the key. We are using message as the key. And then the value is that message, which is profile picture uploaded successfully. Make sure you save and remember we need to do validation but we are going to do it later so let's go to the browser and before you go to the browser we need to add this facade at the top here use image so we are doing that because we installed this class when we install this package because we're using this package so every time we want to reference that key for this class then you have to make sure you use this key at the top here that is the use image so let's go to the browser and first let's refresh now let's upload a, a new picture so here i'll just upload this file and then upload picture and as you can see profile picture uploaded successfully so and this is the picture so let's add another picture here before we do validation so what i'm going to do is go to that profile sidebar and copy this and then on the open this file called app.blade and then right before the name of that user put that image there and then change the wind and height so I'm change, I'll change from 250 to that 2px. Save. Let's see. Refresh. And as you can see, we have this picture at the top here. Now let's validate this avatar. So on the profile controller, right before the user saves this avatar to the database, we need to do some validation. So here I'll say validate the avatar and then request use the validate method and here we are validating the only the avatar so avatar and 
one of the rule or validation rule you're going to use is required it must be an image that is another validation rule we can also validate the dimension that is the width and height so we can add another validation rule and this time i'll say dimensions before you do the dimensions let's make sure it's or well, let's do the image the dimension so dimensions which is we can use minimum width which should be that is minimum width it should be 250 and then minimum height it should be also 250 that is the minimum so another validation we can add is to make sure the user can only upload a file extension of jpeg and png and you're going to use this mime it's called mimes and then specify the extensions you want and i'll say jpeg and png so that's the only extension that you're going to accept on this avatar so make sure you save so let's see so i'm going to upload the picture which will make the validation to fail so let's go to that and so this one has actually this one is large so let's copy let's upload and as you can see that validation has failed and we are getting the avatar has invalid image dimensions so what about maximum let's put maximum so the maximum can be 250 so it cannot exceed that so i think everything is working fine let's go to the database and see whether you can be able to see this avatar and here you can see let's refresh i'm going to refresh and as you can see now on the avatar column we have this new image that is the avatar with a random name which means every time this avatar is uploaded it generates a random name with those numbers so if you go to the where we have that file xamp we have htdocs laravel public and then image avatar so we can see we have this one so this extension that we installed earlier which is called intervention image has manipulated this avatar so every time i use uploads it manipulates by resizing that to 250 by 250 and that's what you can see here this image is 250 by 250 So everything is working fine and I'll see you in the next lecture.